Good morning and welcome to the Sigma Theta Tau International Phi Omega at Last Chapters Member Induction Ceremony. I am Rasri Tato, the President of Sigma Theta Tau International Phi Omega at Last Chapter and the Dean of Faculty of Nursing Jurarungan University. Our officers and members are delighted that you are a part of this occasion to formally welcome you to the Sigma Theta Tau International Phi Omega at Last Chapter. I would like to give you some background before we start the ceremony. All new members are selected by nursing leaders or nursing students with outstanding performance or those with a GPA of greater than 3.5. Therefore, the selected person are regarded as an outstanding person who is a leader in nursing now and in the future. This is the reason why there is a ceremony to accept new members every year to honor and praise all members. For the brief history of the Sigma Theta Tau International Society of Nursing, or simply called Sigma, was first established in 1922 at Indiana School of Nursing, Indianapolis, Indiana, the United States of America. For our chapter in Thailand, Phi Omega at last chapter was established and has been open for membership since 2012. Under the sponsorship of the Thailand Nursing and Midwifery Council. This is a collaboration of nine educational nursing institutions that operate the PhD in nursing program, namely Faculty of Nursing, Jurarungan University, Burapa University, Chiang Mai University, Prince of Songkha University, Mahidon University, Konkan University. Rama Tipudi School of Nursing, Mahidon University, Thammasat University, and Faculty of Public Health, Mahidon University. Now, is this a reasonable time to officially start the induction ceremony? My name is Rasri Tato. I am the Dean of Faculty of Nursing, Jurarungan University, and the current president of the Sigma Theta Tau International Phi Omega at last chapter. It is my pleasure to welcome and congratulate our inductees. We are here to celebrate your achievement. Altogether, we have 128 new inductees. Among these, four members are from Indonesia, three members from China, and 121 members are from Thailand. Thank you for celebrating this special occasion with us. I would like to take a moment to introduce and recognize our chapter leaders and honor invited guests who are joining us today. Phi Omega at last chapter was established in 2012 by the nine nursing school that operate PhD in nursing program with the advisory support from the president of the Thailand Nursing and Midwifery Council. The president that have valuable contribution to the success of Phi Omega at last chapter are honorary presidents are Dr. Vipada Kuna Wiktikun former Dean of Faculty of Nursing, Chiang Mai University. Dr. Aranya Chawarit, former Dean of Faculty of Nursing, Prince of Songkha University. Dr. Yajai Siddhi Mongkon, Dean of Faculty of Nursing, Mahidon University. Dr. Pak Virai Si Sang, former Dean of Faculty of Nursing, Konkan University. President of the 2023 to 2024 is myself, Dr. Rasri Tato, Dean of Faculty of Nursing, Jurarungan University. President-elect, 
who will serve as the next president is Dr. Pon Chai Julamed, Dean of Faculty of Nursing, Burapa University. Why presidents are the deans and directors of the school that have the PhD nursing programs? Our vice president are Dr. Poon Suk Jain Panit Bisutipan, Brahma Tipudi School of Nursing, Faculty of Medicine, Brahma Tipudi Hospital, Mahidol University, Dr. Pri Gamon Ratchanakun, Faculty of Nursing, Thammasat University, Dr. Sarawut Tepanon, Faculty of Public Health, Mahidol University, Dr. Thani Gao Thammanukun. Faculty of Nursing, Chiang Mai University. Dr. Lapana Kit Rung Road, Dean of Faculty of Nursing, Prince of Songkha University. Dr. Ampon Panti Ranut, Dean of Faculty of Nursing, Khon Kaen University. Now that all of you get to know our chapter leaders, let's speaking about our today celebration. From more than 90 years. Sigma has been recognizing and celebrating excellence in scholarship, leadership, and service within nursing and midwifery. As an honor society, we are following the mission and vision. Our vision is connected, empower nurse leaders transforming global health. Our mission is developing nurse leaders anywhere to improve healthcare everywhere. The Honor Society today, known as SIGMA, was founded by six nursing students at Indiana University. From those six founder members, our organization has grown. SIGMA Theta Tau International now has over 540 chapters with more than 135,000 active members residing in over 100 countries around the world. Sigma also collaborates with several global organizations to improve the health of the world people, including representation at the United Nations. This all of member opportunity extend their rights outside of their own community. We are excited and felt with favorite today to welcome our new inductees into our diverse global membership. Sigma members are leaders at all levels of healthcare industries. The society already extend membership to students in baccalaureate and graduate level program who have demonstrated superior academic achievement, academic integrity, and professional leadership potentials, and to nurse leaders, candidates, and experts with exceptional achievement in nursing. Our membership includes top-notch nursing executives, clinicians, educators, researchers, policy makers, entrepreneurs, and others. You are among these distinguished groups of nurses, students, and professionals who have met or exceeded the regular standards required to receive an invitation to join SIGMA. And you truly deserve our congratulations. The leadership and scholarship that you have this place represent the essence of society. Together, we are Sigma. Our founder chose the Greek letter Sigma, Theta Tau, taken from the Greek words Stoye, Tero, and Chime, meaning love, courage, and honor as they believe them to be the enduring values that is the root of nursing professions. Our crest 
this adorns your membership certificate. Symbolize these enduring values, reminding us of our commitment to wisdom and discernment as represented by the eye. Service, professional endeavor and strength of leadership as represented by the pillars of stone at the right and left. And knowledge as represented by the lamp. Our key embedded in the membership pin reminds us of our charge to uphold love, courage, and honor, and is a symbol of scholarship. The cup denotes the satisfaction of professional life. The circle with its six star represents our six founders. The lamp is the lamp of knowledge, and the letter in black represents our chart. The purpose of this ceremony is not only to honor you as a new member and celebrate your success, but it also serves as our pledge to you to support you through your nursing career and to be a lifelong resource for you. This support will come in part through the opportunities to participate in Sigma Community of Interest, mentoring program and academy. You will have an access to benefits such as nursing continuing professional development courses, the Journal of Nursing Scholarship, and others. Your induction is not the end. The culmination of your scholarly or professional achievement instead. Your induction signifies the beginning of your membership journey, the start of your involvement within a global network of peers and mentors who are here to guide and support you wherever your nursing career may take you to. At this time, we will take in the membership of these outstanding new members. Inductees, please accept the privilege and responsibilities of your Sigma membership by repeating this pledge after me. I accept member in Sigma Theta Tau International. And I pledge to fulfill its commitment to nursing excellence, knowledge, service, and leadership throughout my career. Thank you, inductee. Please congratulate to our new members. I will now invite each of our new members onto the stage to receive their member certificate and be recognized.
Congratulations to the newly inducted members of Phi Omega at Large Chapters. You are now a part of our community of nursing students and leaders, and we hope that you will take the opportunity to become a fully engaged member within the Sigma Theta Tau. I want to once again congratulate and welcome our newest members of Sigma Theta Tau International. Thank you for your attending. Have a wonderful day. One hundred years ago, six brave women founded the organization we know today as Sigma Theta Tau International Nursing Honor Society. We had just come out of six long years of grueling devastation between World War I and a global pandemic. And yet these brave women saw this as the appropriate time to face this devastation with love, honor, and courage. Fast forward 100 years. Once again, we're faced with dark times. We're emerging from a global pandemic and the nursing shortage that's been predicted has become more than real. The pandemic has highlighted inequities and our broken healthcare systems. It's time to step outside of our profession and begin to work with other professions and societal leaders to achieve our goals as a profession so that we can better serve our populations and be better stewards of our planet. So we, the Board of Directors of Sigma, call on you, our members, to be bold. The way I see it, we need to be bold in three domains, economics, technology, and conservation. Economics is often thought of as finance, but finance is just one component of economics. Economics is actually the study of power, and finance or money is often a vehicle for power. Value is another form of power. Nurses add incredible amounts of value to the healthcare system. We must be able to articulate that value to the populations that we serve so that they will then influence their leaders to make decisions that are good for their healthcare systems and good for the planet that we all share. Another economic concept is trust. Trust is a valuable commodity, and yet we as a profession so often are unwilling to leverage the trust that our patients put in us to raise our voices as a profession and influence leaders making decisions about our profession, the patients we serve, and our planet. Another area in which we must be fluent is technology. We interact with technology every day from our workplace to our personal lives. And yet we are so often not involved in the development and implementation of those technologies. If we are not seated at the table when these technologies are being developed and implemented, we will continue to be handed technology that makes our lives more difficult and burdensome than making it more efficient and effective. Finally, we must be conversant in the language of conservation. Conservation is actually an economic concept. We can no longer afford to consume, consume, consume. We are watching parts of our planet on fire while other parts of the planet are sinking into the sea. We must address many of the sources of these issues and it begins a thinking in a way of conservation. We hear a great deal about planetary health but planetary health is just one component of conservation. We need to bring in the value of the human capital. There are so many things that we could be doing to conserve if we were willing to deploy human capital in the conservation process. With this in mind, the Board of Directors and I call on you, the membership, to be bold. Step outside of your circle build bonds with other professions, with leaders around the globe, to influence the decisions that affect the populations we serve, 
our profession, and our planet. And being bold, it's a very large tent. You can pick within the domains of technology, economics, conservation, where the right place is for you to be bold. But if there was ever a time for the nursing profession to be bold, this is it. Being bold means being armed with information. It means using the language of economics, technology, and conservation. It means leading with love, honor, and courage. If you want an easy job, you don't become a nurse. Nursing is one of the world's most rewarding professions, but it's also a challenging one. Throughout your career, you'll encounter difficulties you expected and difficulties you didn't. And you'll rise to each challenge using your own innate strength, along with the resourcefulness and creativity you've developed along your journey. You've already used these tools to surmount obstacles and achieve excellence. That's the strength you'll continue drawing on and building on as you confront new challenges. But you won't do it alone. Every nurse leader knows that the support of your peers is essential and invaluable. Together is how we improve health for people all over the world. Through a network of nurses who share your level of commitment and achievement, real relationships with people facing your same challenges, and the continued education you need to make informed decisions and share your discoveries throughout a rich and successful career. Sigma is there for you.